All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem in which the force F acts on the frame such that its component acting along AB is 650. So this component is 650. Determine the angle required, this angle right here, from 0 to 45, and the component acting along the member BC. Um, what is this? And we know that F is equal to 850 and this angle is 30. So we're going to move this force over here, forming a parallelogram. So basically, it's a, a parallelogram. And this triangle, I'm going to redraw it over here. So we got 650. We got this force, which we know is 850, and we got this other force, and we're looking for this angle, and we're looking for, yes, that's the only thing we're looking for, that angle. Anyways, to find that angle, we need to find this force first, and that's very easy because we know 30, and we know that whenever you have two sides and the angle between them in a triangle, you use the law of cosines. Now the law of cosine says c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared minus 2ac cosine of c. Now 650 squared plus 850 squared minus 2 times 650 times 850 cosine of 30. You do this calculation, you square root it and you get C which is equal to the BC component which is equal to 433.64. Now that we got this component, let me write it on our triangle for reference. We can find this angle this whole angle, not the angle that we're looking for, with the law of sines. The law of sines states that A over sine of angle A is equal to B over sine of angle B, which is equal to C over sine of angle C. Now, we know that 433.64 over the sine of 30 is equal to 850 over the sine of, let's call it epsilon, which will be this whole angle right, right here is what we're going to find right now. If you solve for this, you're going to get that it equals to 78.54 degrees. Now you got to turn on your analytical powers and it's when you use this piece of information. Whenever you get stuck, look at all the pieces of, of information that they gave you. And the one that would get you unstuck would be the piece of information you haven't used so far. So let me redraw this. This is this angle right here, which is this vector right here, right? And we know that this angle is 45, which is this one right here, which means that this angle is also 45 right here, which means that this angle is also 45 which means that this angle right here is also 45. So as you can see, this number that we just found, minus 45, will give us the angle that we're looking for, which is 33.54 degrees. Final answer.